My name is Obachukun Victor Ede. Okay. Yep. Although the white people, they find it difficult to pronounce Victor Obachukun. <laughs> so, <laughs> so they'll be like, like uh, what is your first name? Okay. You know? <laughs> and I'll be like, it's Obachukun, but you can call me Victor. They say, no, I want to know that first name. <laughs> so Obachukun Victor Ede is my name. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So where are you at the moment? Yeah, I'm in Canada. Okay. Um, what I'm currently a nursing student in Canada. Mm. Nursing yep. students. Yep. Wow. Everybody Mind blowing nursing. Mind blowing nursing. Okay. Okay. Before we run away from that nursing, I was going to ask that. Okay. Did you originally uh, did you get admission for nursing from Nigeria? No. No. Okay. Uh, originally, I got admission with advanced biotechnology. Okay. But when, came, when yeah. I came in, I was like, I think it's Change better. It. I do something more professional. Yeah. You know? That's why I changed it to no okay. So, okay, True Link Media Services assisted you with your vision and your visa process, right? Yeah, from beginning to end. Yeah, okay. What can you say about our services, the services we render to you during the process? True Link Immigration Services uh, is, I don't think there's any other service that, or any other immigration service that can give you the kind of service they do give. I was very surprised that anytime I have a question, I have something to ask about, urgent, you know, and I call them or send them an email, there's already always a response. Yeah. That is that is one that is one the one thing that you know that marveled me with your services. Then secondly, the the way and manner they they put up my documents and you know involved me in the whole process. You know, although yeah, I was busy at some point and all that, but still, they they still they still wanted me to be part of what they are doing, you know, so that I will not be maybe maybe tomorrow if something comes up, I will not know what they did and how they did it, you know, and all that. And uh, I can remember initially when I started, I was like, do they help people with uh, getting a sponsor or maybe statement of account and all that and all that because. What they do is legit, and because they don't want you to have any problem, they didn't want me to have any problem. They didn't want to be, they don't want to be held responsible for anything. They just, you know, gave gave me that advice that it's better I get a sponsor myself, so that everything they're going to be doing will be on the genuine line. They don't want any room for any doubt in the application. So. They, uh, it basically it gave me the the intention and the mindset that no these people they are they are actually genuine people you know they are actually genuine nobody nobody directed me to them but out of from everything they told me I built my trust from what they told me you know it's not somebody didn't convince me I built my trust from what they told me because what they presented was the you know what I what I wanted. Yeah. Now, let me just ask, Lido, how did you get to know about us? Really? Okay, I got to know about TrueLink on the internet. Okay. Yeah, I went online and I was like, I need a, an immigration agency that will, that will help me out. Mm -hmm. I saw other immigration agencies, but uh, I went into TrueLink and I saw the people they have helped, okay. their testimonies. Even, I think I saw somebody's profile and her name. And then I took that her name and went to Facebook and typed <laughs> in the name. And then, and then to be sure that this person has really got into Canada, you know, that kind of thing. So, and then I typed in the name and then I saw her profile on the internet on, on Facebook and I said, okay, I think uh, TrueLink is, is going to be my option. Yeah. Yeah. So now I want us to talk a bit about your journey because yours is a bit peculiar. Because yeah. You know yeah. That, um, there were some issues came up along the line. Yes. While yes. we were processing it, but at the end of the day, we got resolved. Yeah. So let me just go on to that straight. That yeah. when we first submitted your work, it was refused. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know. Yeah. How did you first feel when it was refused? Let's just hear that. What's your? Because you're in Canada now, so it's obvious that you, you finally got results. Yeah. But when you, when we first submitted and uh, when they go back to us, yeah. the option was refused. How was? How? What did you feel? And what happened? First of first of all, when I was when I was giving the news or when I saw the uh, the email, I first of all I was like. God forgive me, I was actually blaming God, <laughs> you know, I was like, God, why would you do this to me? I prayed to you about this, I told you about this and all that, you know, so, but at some point, I got to realize that, well, it was basically a 50-50 chance because my, my, well, I say my profile was not really up to standard. It was not really up to the standard that that's they use for an application, yeah. you know. So I was trying to do some some little cut and join, cut and join, cut and join, you know, to be able to make my documents a little bit standard. Yeah. So that's why at some point I was like, okay, I think, well, let me just take it that that's fit for now, yeah. and then yeah. I just so moved on. at the end of the day we. We knew that what we did was fine. Yeah, yeah. You know, because despite the fact that we had to join, join something together, yes, yes. We were confident that what we have done should give it results. Yes, yes. You know, so at the end of the day, we advised that we take it to court. Court, yeah. You yeah. know, and we supported you with that. Yeah. You yeah. know, and at the end of the day, um, the courts. What did the court say? First of all, I, you know, if when you are dealing with someone like TrueLink or an organization like TrueLink, I just want you to expect them to tell they are not going to tell you the truth you are not going to get the truth from them because when they said I should go to court and they said the court is going to be so so amount I was like ah, are you sure this man is not trying to take money from me are you sure he's not trying to scam me you know then I went online as usual and then I did some research and saw a lot of a lot a lot of figures people were calling to you know take some a case like that to court, I said no. I just closed my mouth, <laughs> gently followed them, you know. And so, by the grace of God, after so much, so much tussle and you know, so much waiting, you know, uh, the court granted, uh, you know, my my request, and uh, I was asked to submit new documents to to settle it out of court. Yeah. And when we when we did that, your visa was approved. Yes, yeah, when you know, and, no, and you? I was, you know, that how, day. How did you feel? I I don't know. I didn't even sleep that night. <laughs> I was just happy throughout the night, you know. Because let, it was let, in the night. Let, me ask, let me ask. Let me ask you yeah. one question. I called you. I remember I called you. Yeah. To break the news to you that your visa was approved. Yeah. You, right. Yeah. Some people came online and said it was an arranged call. That. Uh, can you see they arranged it? Wow. It's not a... Um, what kind of a arranged call is that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It is an audio. Well, it's an audio recording anyway. Well, I don't so, know. It's, it's left for people to doubt. <laughs> you understand? That's why, yeah, me initially, when I knew about TrueLink, I had my own doubts, but I did my own research. I, as I told you, yeah. I saw someone, they said the person had gotten her visa. Yeah. And then I said, okay, I took her name and went to Facebook, and then I put her name on Facebook, and then her profile was already changed. She, she was, I don't know, I think in Ontario. Ontario, Canada, and then I saw a lot of pictures of her in Canada and all that, and that's that gave me, you know, uh, the 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 okay, trust so I needed and the confidence I needed yeah. to follow. Well, the anyway, and all that. Yeah, this is live yeah. video now, so even if they said the audio was arranged, this you is, can see it's not arranged. So you're in Canada, yeah, I'm in Canada, you're in Canada, and, and um, you know, we're in Ontario together. You know, now I, talking about it, and, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, so. so there is nothing arranged there. This this <laughs> this is is true link is real. Yeah. You know, true link is real. Yeah, probably people applying from outside Canada might feel that uh, this one they don't have an office, you know, maybe in Nigeria or an office somewhere that like these people might be fake. We have, we have an office in it Canada might be so what is being done from here. Yeah, it might be audio audio immigration, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> no, 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 no. They are here life and direct, you know. Yeah. Everywhere you are, either if you anywhere you want to anywhere you're coming from whether africa anywhere you're coming from anywhere in africa nigeria anywhere they are they are doing their work seriously here in canada yeah. you understand because you are coming to canada and uh, you are not applying for visa in nigeria you are not applying for visa to go to nigeria you're applying for visa to go to canada 
and they are in Canada here arranging the things for you, you know. And it's better they are closer. It's better for someone that is closer to the system than someone that is far away. All those agents in Nigeria, some of them don't know when the law changes. They don't even know when the law changes. You understand? But someone that is closer will know when the law changes, you know, and all that. So, so based on your own experience, you know, yeah, um, do you think it's worth going with professionals when you are doing this kind of application? It, it cannot, and uh, when you talk of professionals, I'll tell you 100% that TrueLink is, is, is the best professional you, you can, you know, you can get when it comes to immigrating to Canada. Like, like, in short, let me just say there are, there are the, uh, there are the channel in which you can pass through, like smoothly, no, no stress, you know, no stress. And then you just, you just next, next time you see yourself, you'll be like, Am I really the one traveling to Canada? You know, they will do it and it will be like a magic. But they actually, they actually doing, they actually doing the professional work in, in truly. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for you know. Um, yeah. Talking about thank you. I, I'm not. I, can, I don't think I can so, thank truly enough mm -hmm. uh, because one of my uncles that is in Canada, he was like, "Are you sure that man is not is not is not uh, fake?" You know, those kind of a thing. He, he was like he was trying to discourage me and he was like are you sure are you sure they are not fake but as long as my spirit have accepted true link is that my spirit have accepted true link because i i i saw the truth in everything they're doing yeah. so uh, so any final thoughts for our viewers what i have to say to you guys <laughs> is if you know you want to come to canada and you're sure you want to come to canada just look for true link. Disturb them on the phone. Disturb them on the email. Disturb them everywhere. They are the only option, and they are the, the only route for you to get to Canada peacefully. Without like you will stay here, you come as a temporary resident, and you also continue. They also help you through to PR. They also help you through to you also getting your citizenship. They are everywhere. Wherever is whatever is your problem. Either getting into Canada or staying in Canada and all that, they are, they are there to help you. That is all I have to tell you guys. Yeah. yeah. So, Mr. Victor, thank, thank you very much yeah, thank for coming you so much. to I, talk to us. I really, appreciate all, I really appreciate all your work yeah. throughout yeah. Thanks to the, the process, you know. Yeah. Yeah, my, yeah. Just, my dad was, uh, at least I, let me just say, my, let me just say my dad was, I was like, let this man not pass away, you know, <laughs> you know. But immediately I broke the news to him. Ah. He was like, life came into him. If if not any other thing, at least he was happy. You know, even if he does not eat or he does not do anything, he was happy, you know. So and that was all thanks to Trulink. All thanks to Trulink Immigration Services Limited. Yeah. Thank, thanks a lot. Thank, thank you for coming. We appreciate you and uh, yeah. we wish you the best. Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you. Yeah, thanks.